Good afternoon, Artlings. I wanted to give you an update. Uh, I've had a lot of questions asked about this secondary color spinner, and I wanted to address a couple of things. Uh, I have heard from you guys, Miss Ballow, I don't have any string. Miss Ballow, I don't have any crayons. Miss Ballow, I don't have any... Okay, we're going to figure this out. Um, we're used to figuring things out, aren't we, kiddos? So I am going to go over to my messy desk, and we're going to talk about what happens if I don't have a fill in the blank. First question, Mrs. Ballow, what happens if I don't have a string? If you don't have a string, you can use a pencil or a bamboo skewer or a chopstick or something and make it like a top where instead of cutting the two holes and using the string, you just cram a pencil through it, make a hole first if you need to, and use it as a top. And when you spin it, hopefully you'll be able to see this, when you, when you spin it fast enough, the camera's not gonna catch it very well, but it actually does make those colors. My eyeballs are seeing the colors. The camera is actually better than my eyeballs, and so it's catching each individual color. But if you went and did this at home, you would not see the different colors. You would see it blending. The camera's got better eyeballs than I do. Okay, so that's the first question. Next question. Miss Bow, I don't have any colors. Well, and you can do this with just black and white. This will leave a really interesting pattern. And I and will make a comment when I cut these out and show you guys. Um, I made another version of this with only four sections. And we'll see a difference in the darkness of the lines that it creates. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Okay, so you can do it with just black and white. Um, and I did dots and dashes, and we'll see what they do when I do it a little later uh, for you guys. Uh, also, what happens if you don't do blocks of color? Well, I don't know. I did dots right here, rainbow dots. And what I'm hoping is that these dots will start to make a line um, of continuous color. Okay, so if you don't have any crayons and no pencils and no whatever, I'm going to try stickers. So I had these stickers that are the same. Each of these little minion guys are the same, and each of these little owls are the same. And so I put them in a radiating pattern, and hopefully they'll do something cool. So maybe you could do it without even having colors at all. Maybe you could use stickers. And then finally, I did this spiral thing. I have no idea what it's going to do. Let's try it. Um, and then this one's blank. This is... Hmm, what if I drew something and had it changing? I don't know. I'm just going to have to do that one later. But let's see what all these do. I'm going to cut them out, and then I'm going to come back, and we'll check them out. They're all cut out. Let's test them. I actually discovered something interesting. My selfie camera uh, it does not have a high as refreshing as high refresh rate as my rear-facing camera, so you might actually get to see this. So let's start with this guy. Um, I did one that has only four spokes and then one that has eight plus this ring around the edge, and let's see what they do. Hopefully you'll be able to see this pretty good. So I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna spin it, and let's see. If I can get it going fast enough and straight enough. You can see that the design is doing something, but it's not very dark. And that's because there's not enough of these images to fool our eyes. So if I switch over to this one, you'll definitely see a difference. It's much higher density uh, of lines and, and colors. And so it, woo, but nah, let's try that again. If I spin it, to me specifically, <laughs> it looks as if the colors are a little darker. Now this outside line, it's so color heavy that it appears like a solid line. Also, so do these dots in the middle. These dots in the middle, since they're so close together, there's not a lot of white space, are actually pretty dark. I hope you can see that. So that's a note to self. The more filled in these colors are, let's go try my other spinner again. This one's solid color, so of course that'll make a difference. And you're getting it, you're, you're able to see it just a little bit. Um, the refresh rate on my camera is still pretty high. Um, but this one's 
solid color all the way around, so obviously it's going to be better. But even with just these guys, with the dots and dashes, it's... Ugh, man, I am not very good at that. It still does something neat. Okay, so now we're done with that one. Let's try this one, which was just the dots of color, and I'm hoping that it will make lines of color. Let's try that one. From where I'm sitting, it does. I see lines of rainbows. Now, I'm thinking that if I added other lines of dots around this, that the more dots I add, the darker these colors will get. But as I'm looking at it right now, I can see color lines. That's cool. Okay, stickers. Let's try the sticker one. So I've got these same owl stickers and minion stickers, and let's see what they do. Oh, that's pretty neat. Now, obviously, you guys are seeing something a tad bit different because of the camera, but what I'm noticing is that there is a dark blue ring here and here. There's almost like a gray ring here. These eyeballs are touching each other. And then the outside, I see kind of a blue area and a yellow area, light yellow area. And then there's a little bit of this orange in here. So. It's making a different image maybe for you than for me, but it's getting, it's pretty cool still. So you don't even really need colors. All right, last one. Let's try this one. So I have a hunch that this one's gonna be a little weird because it's got continuous color going all the way around, but you know what, I'm gonna try it anyway. So here we go. Ooh, that's crazy. What if I spin it the other way, what happens? Ooh. All right, that's neat. It's not as weird as I thought it would be. It's actually pretty cool. So that's it for all your questions. Uh, what if I don't have any string? What if I don't have colors? Uh, what if I only have a pencil? Uh, if you can think of any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. And you might wanna try other crazy things like, does it have to be a circle? Ugh. What if you did a square? Or what if you used a star? Or what if you, I don't know, man, what if you used an oval? I, I don't know, I haven't tried it. Maybe you should. Yeah. Good afternoon, artlings. I wanted to give you. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to. No. Hello, artlings. 